Please welcome Baby Scripts' Judith Nowlin with guest Dr. Kelly Leggett. Kelly, thanks so much for joining us here at the Startup Health Festival. We're so excited to have you as the and practicing obstetrician and the Chief Clinical Transformation Officer at Cone Health in Greensboro, North Carolina. It's great to be here, and congratulations to you for your recent uh, investment by Philips that you announced in the press yesterday. Yeah, thank you so much. You know, Kelly, I recently learned about you, that you and I had our first babies about the same time 15 years ago, and that brought me back way back to when I had my first baby in my arms. And each and every time I had a baby in my arms, I love to share stories with other moms. Share stories about our pregnancy, how it went, what happened during labor and delivery time, what this postpartum time was gonna be all about. And I was sharing a story of great joy, one that had a really healthy outcome, a healthy baby and a healthy mom, one that I think every single pregnant woman on this planet desires and hopes for. But as I was talking to other mothers, I learned that wasn't their story. So many of the moms I was talking to were saying things like, that was the worst day of my life. I never want to do that again. In fact, I am terrified of getting pregnant again because they were dealing with really scary things in their pregnancy and labor and delivery times. So I started doing some research and I realized that in the United States today, we are the worst of all industrialized nations when it comes to how well we take care of our moms and our babies. And in fact, it's trending in the wrong direction. And I asked myself a question, what is one thing that might make a difference in these outcomes? And I realized that it was connection, connection to my pregnancy, connection to my care team, right? Absolutely. But in the United States today, when women attend all of their prenatal visits, they're seeing their practitioner, like you, 225 minutes in total, which is just a fraction of a percent of total time available to make an impact on these outcomes. And so with these outcomes, when I realized this, it became clear as day to me what my maniacal mission on this planet was, and that is the moonshot of healthy pregnancies for all. And I thought to myself, what is one thing that I can do? Me, myself. And that day, I decided to become a childbirth educator, helping to inform patients about their pregnancy journey and what to expect. And then I became a birth doula, helping hundreds of families in their most intimate time to, through pregnancy, labor and delivery, and then even afterwards, and then transition with their babies. And then I built an app, and that app was successful, and it was recently acquired by Baby Scripts. And so I'm here today now as the Chief Growth Officer of Baby Scripts with you, our clinical partner, a health transformer, transforming the way that we deliver prenatal care, leveraging Internet of Things devices, for early intervention. So Kelly, you guys have been with Baby Scripts for about two years at Cone Health. Tell me how you're using Baby Scripts. So we agreed that the way we deliver prenatal care up until having Baby Scripts is very 1950s style, brick and mortar, go to the doctor at the doctor's convenient time. Mm -hmm. And we actually realized that the way prenatal care is designed, it actually produces those outcomes by design. So when we wanted to partner with Baby Scripts and change that connectivity and have many more touch points. And so um, we've used it for two and a half years. Hundreds and thousands of patients have used it. And most of my patients say it's really a positive experience for them. But fortunately, I had a, an intimate experience with a, a very good friend on Baby Scripts. Actually, it was my nanny, Corinna. And she became pregnant last year and was a Baby Scripts mom. Most of her support network and family was back in Germany, so she didn't have anyone to call to have those stories with. And so she really relied on baby scripts to give her that information, to help her understand what was happening with her body, whether she should eat certain foods, should she get her flu shot. She also knew exactly how her baby was developing with push notifications from baby scripts. Perhaps even more exciting was that she was very empowered by baby scripts to manage her own health care. So her um, baby scripts was on the low-risk platform, and she was prescribed taking her blood pressure and weight every week, and that would be automatically tr um, into a portal that I could monitor uh, remotely. But she didn't need for me to tell her things were 
going well. She already knew. She knew her blood pressure was fine, and she knew she was on track with her weight. And seeing this on a very personal level made me know that baby strips really does make a difference. So that's a great example with low risk, but what about high risk? Exactly. We really need to make an impact on high risk because of all those conditions you listed behind us. So we co-developed the Baby Scripps diabetes application. And so the way traditional diabetic pregnancies are managed is they take their blood sugar four times a day, they write it down in a book, and they come to me every one to three weeks and I review their, their measurements. But I have no idea what's going on in between those visits. With the Baby Scripps diabetes platform, she takes her sugar and then puts it into her phone, which all women carry their phone all the time, so mm -hmm. it's super convenient. It goes directly into a platform that's monitored electronically, and I am notified if there are critical abnormalities or even just no values. So one patient that comes to mind is um, a patient who had, did not have health insurance and was having difficulty affording her strips and lancets to take her blood sugar. And so she um, didn't take it for a couple days and baby scripts notified me and I was able to call her and ask her, hey, you know, what's, go what's going on, everything all right? And she admitted that she had been too embarrassed to call me, but since I called her, she felt that she could tell me what was going on. We were able to get her the much needed medical device and also get her back right on track to manage her diabetes. Yeah, that's an awesome example of that connection and care that the technology affords you. So tell me about, there's this, I know there's this one uh, patient in your practice who without baby scripts, the outcome would have been really different. Yeah, I'll remember her forever. So this uh, patient was on the low risk platform taking her blood pressure and weight every week and she was low risk until the minute she became high risk. So she had just left the office a couple days ago and she was taking her blood pressure in between visits and it suddenly was very elevated, 160 over 110. So we were notified immediately and she was able to come into the office, receive life-saving medications for her blood pressure, but more importantly, we were able to administer medications to her that affected the baby's uh, outcome in the NICU. Yeah. Yeah, and if it wasn't for the remote patient monitoring in her home environment, how long would have, it, how much time would have passed before you would have seen her next? Since she had just had her appointment, it would have been two weeks until we had seen her again, yeah. and some, with the preeclampsia, it can be asymptomatic, and we could have had a very different outcome for one or maybe two patients. Yeah, that is an incredible story of the power of remote patient monitoring. So on to the topic that's on everybody's mind, the social determinants of health, a really tricky topic to address, but one that's really important in maternity care. You guys are uh, using a product by Baby Scripts called the Care Navigator. We are. So we just started using it this month. Um, we think it's going to make a really big impact on infant mortality because infant mortality is directly related to preterm births. And preterm births are directly related to stress levels and cortisol levels. And so if we, we found that if we can envelop patients with a sense of community and help address these social determinants of health that have so much to do with outcomes, then they will have decreased preterm birth and decrease infant mortality. So we're super excited about getting this started in Greensboro. Remarkable, thank you. Great, and so through our partnerships with healthcare transformers like Dr. Leggett, we are well on our way to our moonshot of healthy pregnancies for all. We know that together we can and together we will. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks.